Hello friends, today we are discussing Airport Pavement Strength Rating System of ICAO and that's a new concept now of ACR and PCR that is Aircraft Classification Rating and Pavement Classification Rating and this new concept has been implemented by ICAO in November 2024. This concept replaces old concept of ACN and PCN that is Aircraft Classification Number and Pavement Classification Number. You can watch my video on ACN PCN method also to understand the basic difference between this old method and this new method. This ACN PCN method was based on empirical methods originally developed in late 30s and 40s. And this method is quite conservative. It is unable to consider accurately complex landing gear configuration of the new aircrafts. Third, it is unable to account for the improved characteristics of new generation payment materials and it is unable to consider the variability of landing gear transverse positions of new aircrafts. And another reason to replace this AC and PCN by ACR and PCR method is that the former empirical methods of payment design are gradually being replaced by mechanistic empirical methods. And due to these reasons, ACN PCN method is found to be inconsistent with modern payment design methods. And that is the reason why this ACR PCR method was developed by ICAO and it is implemented from November 2024. The core principle remains the same that if ACR is less than or equal to PCR, then the aircraft can operate on the payment without restriction. In old method, it was ACN to be less than or equal to PCN. But if this ACR is more than PCR, then the aircraft may be excluded or may be allowed to operate subject to weight and or frequency limitations. These two criteria are same in ACN PCN method as well as in ACR PCR method. The aircraft classification rating or ACR is a number expressing the relative effect of an aircraft on a pavement for a specified standard subgrade strength. And for this purpose, four standard subgrade strength categories are defined and they are common to flexible pavement and jit pavement. In the old system of ACN PCN, these subgrade strength criteria was different for flexible pavement and jit pavement. Now here, the subgrade categories a, B, C, D are defined based on E value and strength can be high, medium, low or ultra low. If E value is more than or equal to 150 MPA, it is high strength subgrade categorized as A. If it is 150 to 100 MPA, it is medium that is B category and for C category, E value is capped in the range of 60 to 100. And if it is below 60, it is ultra low and that is your D category of the subgrade. The ACR is numerically defined as twice the derived single V load or DSWL expressed in hundreds of kilograms. And this DSWL is the single V load with contact pressure of 1.5 MPA that is equivalent to the aircraft on a given payment structure according to some defined criteria. And the three step process. That the first step is that the payment is designed as per rational payment design procedure. But the payment in new system, new ACR system should not be designed based on either CBR or Westergaard procedure. This is the major change with respect to ACN and the key part of ACR computation. Then in the second step, adjust the load on a single wheel so that it requires the same payment. That means the deflection or strain criteria in these two remains the same. Now this load is called DSWL. And a third step is to calculate ACR ACR is twice of DSWL in terms of hundreds of kilograms. So that is how ACR is determined. The official ACR for an aircraft are published by the aircraft manufacturer. 
and these acr are unique to an aircraft at a specified weight most manufacturers provide an acr curve to determine acr at specified weight desired for example for boeing 7377 aircraft is the maximum weight 81512 kg and the minimum weight 43091 kg tire pressure 1.41 mpa and these are the acr values for rigid payment subgrade and these are the acr values for flexible payment subgrade as i told you the definition of subgrade strength remains the same that is in terms of e value it is 200 120 80 50 mpa these are the acr values for maximum taxi weight and these are the values of acr for minimum weight similarly for flexible payment these are the values so similar values are provided for different categories of aircraft by the manufacturer the next is payment classification rating or pcr pcr is a number expressing on the same scale as acr the load carrying capacity of a payment for unrestricted operations the pcr of a payment should reflect the payment design with respect to traffic it is intended to serve The aerodrome design manual provides a model procedure for PCR determination using cumulative damage factor approach. This cumulative damage factor is the amount of structural fatigue life of a payment consumed during each coverage ratio of applied load repetition to allow load repetitions to failure. This concept is similar to the one we generally adopt for design of cement concrete pavement that is fatigue criteria this cdf is calculated by this equation that is applied coverage divided by coverage to failure and when cdf is less than or equal to 1 there should be no restriction on aircraft usage but if the pavement cdf is more than 1 weight restriction should apply to one aircraft at least so that it comes down to less than one in case of multiple aircraft minor rule is used that is cdf total cdf will be cdf of individual aircrafts calculation of payment classification rating is a six step process the first step is identify the aircraft with maximum acr in the traffic and let us say this is ac max then compute the maximum cdf for the current traffic then select the aircraft that is aci that contributes the most to cdf max keeping this keeping only aci in the traffic means if there is only one category of the aircraft then that is aci in the traffic then adjust the number of passes and i such that it produces the same payment damage that the entire traffic cdf max this cdf max so what will be the number of passes of this aircraft which will produce the same cdf max as calculated here then fifth step is keeping only aci in the traffic with adjusted number of passes adjust its weight such that it produces a payment damage equal to 1 then sixth step is that pcr i is equal to acr of aci with operating weight wi so you have now the operating weight which gives you the same which gives you the payment damage equal to 1 and that is the pcr of this aircraft now you change to another aircraft i is equal to i plus 1 and then pcr will be maximum of pcr of all these aircraft that is the pcr payment classification rating this pcr reporting is done for several parameters first is coding of subgrade for support condition that is the strength of the subgrade and that is measured in terms of e value modulus value and as i told you there are four categories a b c d depending upon the strength of the subgrade one of them is specified for a given payment one of them will be specified second is coding of tire pressure on subgrade high category medium category low category and very low category subject subgrade code is w and tire pressure code is w x y or z 
W is when there is no pressure limit, X is when it is 1.75, Y is 1.25 and Z is 0.5. Then third is type of flexible payment or rigid payment. F code is used for flexible payment and R for rigid payment. The next code is method of evaluation. Method of evaluation can be either technical or it can be through aircraft experience. So if technical method is used, we use a code T. If using aircraft experience, then we use U. Reporting format is same as it was in case of AC and PCN method. It is reported as PCR 560 oblique F oblique B oblique W oblique T. Now here this 560 is PCR number, F is type of payment, F of flexible, R for rigid. Next is subgrade strength category A, B, C or D depending upon the strength of the subgrade in terms of E value. W is the tire pressure allowable tire pressure on subgrade it can be w x y or z depending upon the tire pressure and this t or u is the evaluation evaluation method either technical method or using aircraft experience method u using aircraft experience method that is a simple procedure and it can be used when there is a limited knowledge of existing traffic and runway characteristics. It is also useful when engineering analysis is neither possible nor desired. There are two basic steps required. Determine the airplane with the highest ACR in the traffic mix currently using the runway and this is called the critical airplane. Assign the ACR of the critical airplane as the PCR. So that is a simple procedure but this procedure is not in use nowadays because of changes in the ACR PCR procedure generally technical method is used and this technical evaluation method of determining PCR should be used when there is reliable knowledge of existing traffic and payment characteristics. This method is now based on cumulative damage factor of each aircraft type and then taking some of all CDF values. Power field can be used to evaluate PCR for a given aircraft traffic and payment composition. Now this far field is a computer program developed by FAA to design the payment for airports. This program can also be used to evaluate PCR for a given aircraft and payment composition. I will explain this procedure of using far field and how to determine PCR by taking one small example. And this example is like this, that an airport has a flexible runway payment with subgrade modulus of 100 MPA and a total thickness of 25 inches as shown in this figure here. So you have 4 inch of asphalt surface course, 5 inch of crushed gravel and 16 inch of crushed gravel plus sand and then a subgrade of 100 MPA strength. It is assumed for the purpose of this example that the traffic level is constant over the 20 year period and the traffic is like this. That just for this example I have taken only four types of aircrafts A320 standard with annual departure of 600, A340 600 WB000 that is standard aircraft of three 4600 annual departure 200 and along with that when you consider this you consider this also with the belly with the same departure 200 and Boeing 737 300 with 1000 annual departures. So let us solve this problem using far field. This is far field software. Here you can take a payment type new flexible and then here, this is the default values of thickness of surface, stabilized base and crushed aggregate. You can change these thicknesses as per your requirement. In the design example, it is given 4 inch, 5 inch and this is, let me change it to 16 inch. You can also change the E value here. 
the CBR of subgrade soil is 10, that corresponds to 15,000 PSI of E value, which is the same as E1 in the question. Desired life is 20 years, and because we are finding here PCR, so let us change from thickness design to PCR. This is the library for aircraft. You can select Airbus here, that is, and from this window, you can take A320-200, that is your standard, just select it and drag in this box. Then you have A340, so come to A340, that is your A340-600, 600WV-000. So when you select it and drag it here, you get belly also automatically. And the last one is your Boeing 7. So again, go to the aircraft category Boeing. And from there, you take B737-300. Seven three seven three hundred is here. So drag it here. So these are the four aircrafts. These are default values of annual departures. You can also change these values. A320 is given the question 600. So change is to 600. Then this is 200. So let us make it 200. And the last one is Boeing 737. That is 1000. So make it 1000. Now it will calculate the total departure in a year here. And with these data, you can run the program here. And it will automatically calculate the CDF. 0.31 is the CDF value here. Okay. So if you want to see what is the PCR, just click at the status here, you get PCR 720 oblique F oblique B oblique X oblique T. F is for flexible payment, B is your subgrade category, X is your pressure, tire pressure and T is the technical method. This is the PCR. If you want to see the PCR graph, just click here. Now, this is the PCR, that is payment classification ratio. And ACR are shown by these blue lines or blue chart here. ACR, PCR, and their annual departures, which you have taken. So, this value should be higher than this line. Black line should be higher than these lines. So, your payment is now safe. You can allow departure of all these. If you want to see the CDF graph, then this is how the damage is created by different types of aircrafts. So that is how this far field can be used to determine the PCR of a payment. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.